Hey guys, me again. Um, I am doing, I'm super excited about this package that I got today. This is a random act of kindness bag, and I have never received a random act of kindness before in my life. And for people who don't know, it's R-O-A-K, what, you know, a lot of people put that in the group, so what it stands for is random act of kindness, and it's just a box that you send out, or a bag, or whatever, of goodies to somebody for free, and just because. It's just so sweet. It's really, I mean, everyone's heard the term random act of kindness. So this is just kind of like in the wax community, that's what you do. And I have been, I've never received one. So this is my first one. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is my first one. And it is from, I believe, well, I don't want to alienate and say my all-time favorite vendor. But, okay, I'm going to say it, my all-time favorite vendor. Sorry, I have like a top five, but this vendor has to be my all-time favorite. I have never had, I shouldn't say, I had stuff from her that has actually melted and smelled good for five days. No lie, guys. Like, not five, five days overnight, like I would turn it off and then turn it back on, you know, the next day, but five days. Like, absolutely incredible. Incredible scent throw. Love it. Um, it's from Aunt Smellman's from Sabrina. I love you, Sabrina. I knew this was coming because she, she's like, you never got a random act of kindness box, box or anything like that. And I'm like, no, I haven't. And she was like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, no, I really haven't. Not that I, I mean, not that I recall. I've gotten these sashes for really cheap. You know, where people were just really, really kind about it and, you know, sent me stuff really, really cheap, but not actual random acts of kindness. So now I can say I've gotten a random act of kindness bag, and it's from my ultimate favorite vendor. So, Sabrina, thank you so much. I love you. So she was like, well, we're going to have to change that. And I said, no, I haven't. She's like, we're going to have to change that. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I was in heaven. I mean, of all the people to contact me. For it to be Sabrina, I was like, oh. the angels were singing. It was awesome. Um, so she sent me this little card. And I'm going to post, of course, all her information below because you guys got to check out Aunt Selman's. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. As you all know, I have sniffed a lot of wax. And this stuff is just, and melted a lot. And this is just, look how cute this is. Oh, and it's in cheetah print. Okay. So cute. I actually had some cheetah print maybe going on on my... I was supposed to go get my nails done today. I just didn't get there. Oh, hold on. Something fell out. Oh, no. That's just something just fell off my computer. So it says, So now you've officially been R-A-O-K'd. Smiley face. Hope you enjoy these. Have a happy day, Sabrina on Spellman. Love you, Sabrina. So cute. I'm going to use this today as a fan. Whew, it's quite hot out there today. Very hot. Um, and I love these little cards. I, I keep them all. I keep them all in a um, shoebox. Love them. Um, so she put in, like, little candies and stuff like that, which I'll probably give to my daughter or whatever. I don't I don't do candy. But, um, hmm. oh, so she has a little note. Look at These are mysteries right here, guys. <gasps> Look at these tarts. Mystery tarts. Ha, ha, ha. So, it says, here's two tarts that have not hit the website yet. I'm going to ask you to try them and let me know what you think. Does it make the grade? And I'm not even going to tell you what that, oh, my God. <laughs> like, it doesn't make the grade. I can smell this through the wrapper. Like, I think it's going to make the grade. Oh, my God. This is amazing. But um, I'm not going to tell you what's up there. It's a secret. But I love it when vendors, like, trust me enough to try their stuff and just say, hey, you know, what do you think? I mean, for my opinion to mean something, I think it's pretty cool. Because most people in my life don't care about my opinion whatsoever. So, to have people care about my opinion is really awesome. 
Okay, what what this scent is, I'm not gonna tell you what the scent is, but on cold sniff, I think this is gonna make the great Sabrina. If this smells like it smells right here, melted, which most of your stuff always do, always do, like a lot of them um, on cold sniff, cold sniff, cold sniff, you know, smell really good, and then sometimes you put them in the warmer and you get like different smells, and you're just like, oh, it's not, you know. Usually with Sabrina stuff on Smellman, it's right on. What you smell, what you smell on cold sniff is what you get, just ten times amplified um, in your warmer. So if that is the case, Serena, this is going to be, I'm going to stock up on this. I, I want stock in this, seriously, because they're two of my all-time favorite scents. And I know you guys are going to say, oh, then they must be chocolate and coffee, but they're not. Oh, love it, love it, love it. It's amazing. So sweet. So I will be melting these definitely, and I will let you know if they make the grade. You make me laugh because do you ever have any duds? I doubt it, highly. Um, so I do have her scent list up, so hopefully... There's some stuff here. I ordered a bunch. I think I ordered. She was having a sale on her scoopables, and I ordered like four of them. They're still curing. I cure her stuff a while. Um, this is a little sample of spoon wax. Well, she calls it spoon wax. Scoopables, but she calls it spoon wax. Um, this is a spoon wax sample in Coco Con Charos. Coco Con Charos. Churros. Churros. Churros is that little. Those little. What, how would you describe a churro, Chels? They're stick kind of things. Yeah, cinnamon sugar stick kind of thingies. Um, let me see if it's, this is on here. A, B, C. Coco. Yes, Coco Con Churros. Mexican hot chocolate with a cinnamon churro base. Now, does that not sound delicious? It smells delicious. Oh, my God. Yeah, this smells amazing. I'm um, again, like I said, I let everything with her cure with her of hers cure and it just gets ten times stronger. It's just amazing. But this is an awesome scent. And it's not heavy on the cinnamon, which is good. It's more of like a sweet cinnamon. Um sweet kind of pa not bakery, but pastry base. Cause churros aren't bakery, they're like I don't know how to describe They're kind of hard to describe. But they're mixed with, uh, they have cinnamon sugar on, on them. But it's definitely a hot chocolate. Because she has a dark chocolate, too, that I, I got it in a big, the chocolate double sweet cake. Amazing. But this is really, really nice. I like this a lot. So, what's the, hard, the hardest part of Sabrina's stuff, uh, Melman's, is letting it cure. That's the hardest part, because you smell it, and you're like, oh, I don't need to let this cure. You know, you're like, it smells amazing. But you don't really don't want to then throw it into your warmer and be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, it's good. Because I always say with Aunt Smellman's, cure, cure, cure. People have asked me in the Candles Anonymous group about Aunt Smellman's, and I'm like, like, what's your number one vendor, Aunt Smellman's? Absolutely. And they're like, okay, why? And I'm like, it's just, it lasts so long, and it's so strong. It's amazing. I mean, obviously, some of her scents are lighter. Some of her strong, some of her scents are lighter. But um, they just last so long. It's just great. It's not like, you know, oh, four hours, and then, yeah, that smells great for four hours, and then it's over, you know. Um, although, I don't know, some things could be great for four hours and be over. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> but you all know what I'm talking about. Um, so this is a scent shot in Montego Bay, and I believe she's just come out with, super, like, super scent shots, like, bigger scent shots, like, you get bigger than two ounces, hello, I think they're, like, three ounces, I'm, like, all over that, too, um, Montego Bay is, did I order one of these? I mean, I placed a small order with her. I have to, of course, I have to order more um, when, when that sale was going on. But Montego Bay is 
Exotic spices, bay rum, and sea air. Love it. This is great. I love spicy scents, but not bakery spicy, like not cinnamon. It's just really exotic spicy scents. And this is so good. My boyfriend hates it. He doesn't like it. So. It's okay, because he doesn't get them. I get to keep them. I love this. I can smell all the spices in here. Like, the, oh my god, it's just so good. It doesn't specifically say what the spices are, but it's more of like a... Kind of like a peppery, mixed with oregano, mixed with like... Maybe a little bit of like nutmeg, but not like anise, like all those exotic spices. That's awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let me put the spoon back, back in this little baggie just so it doesn't. Actually, I won't. I'll just end up taking it when I put it into my drawer. I'm going to have to make a bigger. Um, Aunt Gentleman's drawer. I have her in a little drawer right now, but I'll have to make a bigger one. This is in Aloha Pineapple. Oh, I had it there for a second. There we go. Aloha Pineapple. You know what's, ma what's making me laugh is that I normally have to put these things like right up to my camera. And then the last couple days, it's like, oh, you need to pull it away from your camera. I don't know what the deal is. But this is an Aloha Pineapple. And this would be, let me see, tangy pineapple scent with a hint of vanilla to make a tropical smelling smoothie. Oh, my God. This is so good. You know what I love, too, is her scents are, like, right on. Like, her chocolates don't smell artificial. The pineapple does not smell artificial. My FedEx guy just came. Um, or UPS guy. But nothing, none of like the fruits or anything like smells artificial. They all smell really nice and juicy and like, like spot on. But this stuff is so strong. I'm not catching a ton of vanilla right now, but like I said. Let it cure, let it cure, let it cure. I tell everybody in the Candles Anonymous group who orders from Sabrina, Aunt Spellman's, let it cure. It just gets better with time. It's amazing. So this is in a scent called, come on, Survivalist. Now, I don't know if I've seen that one. I've heard of it. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. I'm doing my alphabet. I know I do that a lot. Um, survivalist. I love stuff with like it's like weird names like that. So you don't you have no idea what it is. Um, but I'm also glad that she has scent description. Oh, Hawaiian breeze, beach daisies, and vanilla sugar. Now I'm gonna say straight up, Hawaiian. Oh wait, no, maybe that. Hawaiian something else. I can't remember. I was going to say, Hawaiian Breeze is not for me. What's the drink with the, the blue drink? The blue Hawaiian drink, Chelsea? Oh, blue Hawaiian. Blue, I hate blue Hawaiian. The blue Hawaiian drink. Yeah, I don't like it. The blue Hawaiian drink is called blue Hawaiian. Ooh, this is nice. This is what I would imagine Hawaii used to smell like. And beach daisies. Like I said, I've gotten beach daisies from another vendor. Love it. Vanilla sugar I'm not smelling right now, but the Hawaiian Breeze, which is like Hawaiian flowers kind of, and it's beach daisies, is amazing. I'm going to have so much trouble, Sabrina, letting this stuff cure. Survivalist is definitely a new one on my list. Another one I want to try is suntan lotion. I love suntan lotion. I, I mean, I used to wear it like as a, what you call it? Like a perfume, like a lotion. Um, this is okay. This is this is one I heard a lot of too, and I'm not sure. Psy, P S Y, but it's in quotation marks. So I don't know if that's if P S Y is supposed to stand for something. Like if it's like an acronym for something. I have no idea. P S Y. 
I don't know. But in the scent description, it's white tea and lime. Oh, sorry. Gangnam style. Duh. <laughs> My daughter's like, I was just going to say that. It's white tea and lime cooler, and it's a Gangnam style. Um, I love white tea. And I love lime. This is a really, really good combination of the two. Not one is overpowering the other. You, you can catch both, but it's not, like I said, usually white tea is kind of a light scent, so you think the lime would overpower it, but Sabrina just has it mixed absolutely amazingly. Like, I can smell them both. And it's not too overpowering. Love it. Love it. All right, now I have some newbies to maybe get scoopables in. I'm into scoopables lately. Okay, this is, I've really been got, getting into tea scents lately. I don't know why. I tried a tea scent from another vendor and just loved it. It was so cool and refreshing smelling that it was great for summer. This is in sweet tea that I just, I've just been into fruits. I mean, not fruits, um, tea scents now. So sweet tea, clean, crisp tea, and lemon. And anything with lemon, I love too, so. Yeah, this is, oh my god, this is, my daughter would love this one too. She loves iced tea. She lives on it. This smells just like, like, iced tea with lemon. It's so good. I'm definitely going to have to get bigger. Okay, God, Sabrina. Okay, your random act of kindness is now going to cost me a lot of money. Thank you very much. It's going to cost me a lot of money. Because now I have all these new scents and I'm just like, oh, okay, no, I want this one and this one and this one and this one. And now I'm going to have to purchase, like, scoopables and all of them. And so, thank you for your random act of kindness. <laughs> now you've got me hooked and I'm going to be, like, spending more money on your site. Um, obviously, you know, I'm kidding. But, no, I'm not kidding as far as I'm going to buy more stuff because I am. <laughs> but this is um, Strawberry Shortcake. And, let me see, ooh, tobacco flower, did I just say tobacco flower? I did, oh, gotta get that one too, oh my god, um, I'm just, I hate when I do this, I look through the scent list and I'm like, I get off my, my flow, because I'm just like, oh, I'm looking at all these. They have one called Sheldon. It says his mom's banana nut bread after a trip to the Cheesecake Factory. That's too funny. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. Um, okay, oh, and they have a sunflower one. Sunflower is my favorite scent ever. I love sunflowers. This is my favorite flower. This is sunflower. Um, strawberry shortcake. Okay, back to strawberry shortcake. Um, fresh strawberries, pound cake, and whipped cream. See if this really smells like strawberry shortcake. I don't know why I question it. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, I can't, I don't, you guys, I can't even say enough about Aunt Salmon stuff because do you know how many times I have put my nose into a bag that says strawberry shortcake on it and all I have smell, smelled was strawberries? This is absolutely, Chelsea, smell this. you got to smell it. I'm sorry. I'm making her smell it. Tell me that that does not smell spot on strawberry shortcake. Yeah. She's like, yep. It's, it's amazing. Like, people say, oh, strawberry shortcake, and all you get is strawberry. This is, I can taste, I can just, I can taste it right now. It is spot on strawberry shortcake. The whipped cream, the absolute fresh, fresh strawberries, when you let them sit in the sugar, so they get nice and juicy, like you cut the strawberries up and you put them in sugar, and it, that pulls all the juices and stuff out of them, so that when you then you, when you put them on the pound cake or biscuits, my mom used to use, use biscuits, I, I, I prefer biscuits, but put them on the pound cake or whatever, it's amazing. And this is not too, like, pound cake can be too much of a bakery scent. This is spot on, absolutely, what I remember 
when I used to eat strawberry shortcake, my mother used to make it, but I remember this is exactly what it smelled like right here. This is amazing. I mean, did I expect anything less from Sabrina and Aunt Snowman? No, I didn't. This is why I am so excited about this, guys. Because, like I said, her stuff is <clears throat> spot on. I don't think I've, like, had a scent where I'm like, that still doesn't smell right. You know? This one is Whistlin' Dixie. So, again, a net, another little um, one that I'm not too sure. Oh, a very fruity, citrusy, and sweet muscadine blend, which I love muscadine. I absolutely love it. Muscadine is a kind of grape, for people who don't know. This is not, it's fruity and citrusy. It's as fruity, citrusy, and sweet, but it's not that sweet, which I like, because sometimes you get the fruits and they're just way too sweet, like, you know, almost candy-like. I like my fruits to smell like fruit. This is really, really nice. And I can, I, it's the citrus, she doesn't say what kind of citrus it is, but you can definitely catch the effervescent, like, you know, like the, the zest, the tang. Love it. These are all on my list. These are all on my list. I have to add to my list now. Um, oh, I was just looking at this one when I was, I had said to you, oh, I get sidetracked by the scent list because I always do. Because I'll see scents that I like. I'm like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This was one that I just like, oh my godding about in my head. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's in Tibetan Amber because I love everything Tibetan. And I love Amber. Amber is, amber is one of my all-time absolute favorite scents. I have Amber Perfume Oil. Love it. Anything with Amber in it. This is, begins with the powdery top notes of lotus blossoms, rose, and jasmine, and follows with oriental notes of amber, musk, patchouli, and French vanilla beans. Good. This is so good. This is almost, I don't know. I was just saying, what don't I like by, by uh, Spellman? I love, I love this smell. I'm going to let it cure, and hopefully the vanilla, the French vanilla bean kind of tones out the powdery a little bit, because this is almost, on cold sniff, a little too powdery for me. I don't like powder scents, um, but I'm sure once this cures, I'll get more of the lotus blossoms and the French vanilla, but, the, oh my God, but it's very musky and patchouli and... I really like this. This is like different than any other amber scent I smelled before. I like it. Um, like I said, if the powdery note tones down a little bit, then this will be perfect for me because I'm just not a big powder person. Um, I don't know. It reminds me of a baby butt. This is in Lickety Split. Which I'm assuming is going to be like a, my guess is, I'm just, I'm just going alphabetical order and knock them all off. That's what I should do, just go in alphabetical order and knock them all off. Now. Um, let me split. See, but the problem is, is that if I get one of these and I love it, I need two. So like these little scents you know, scallop scent shots or whatever, these little scallop thingies, aren't going to do it for me because, like, if, if I love Lickety Split, I want more than one. That's why I've been doing the scoopables, just because, like I said, first, her, her sale was amazing, so I hope she has another one. Absolutely amazing. Um, and that way, I get more of one than one thing and go, oh my god, I love it, it's my favorite scent ever. Oh no, I don't have any more. Because that drives me crazy. But this is in Lickety Split, and Lickety Split, I'm thinking, is going to be like a, no, I was wrong. I was thinking of like an ice cream sundae kind of thing, like a banana split kind of thing. But it's an exotic blend of fruit, berries, and soft floral. Interesting. This is, 
Okay, this is nice. I normally don't do floral at all unless it's a very I don't know what the florals are in here, but they're not a normal floral. They remind me more of like a sunflower scent, which is just, it's not your, I hate it when I say grandma florals, but, you know, a lot of like the hydrangeas and all that kind of stuff and the lilacs and everything are very grandma to me. The roses, they're just grandma to me. Um, but this is very nice. I could definitely smell the berry and the floral. Really, it, they complement each other. And like I said, this floral is not a grandma floral. I like this. Surprise. Chris likes a floral. That's really surprising. But I, I do. I like this one. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and that was it. Except for my little... That was it. That was amazing. Um, my little candies. Which I will repurpose. I will put these... Uh, if, unless... I'll put them, oh, these are coffee ones, too. You like these, Chelsea, the coffee where there's originals? Yeah, she's got her hand out. She's always got her hand out. God. Even, even when kids get to be 22 and they're no longer teenagers or babies, they always got their hand out. Um, she just stole them. Cause I was just like, oh, maybe I'll put them in with my, you know, giveaway box because, you know, then I'll throw some in or whatever. But they're gone. Sorry, they've been claimed. But... Thank you, Sabrina, for the random act of kindness, which, like I said, I don't know if I love it or I want to slap you through the computer because now I have to order all these. These All these scents I have to order now, I think, in Scoopable. So I will be contacting you. I love you to death. You're my all-time favorite vendor. But you've created a monster. And now with all these scents, because I love them, and I have to order more because, God forbid, I, like, melt this and I have no more. I'm going to be so bummed. So I need, like, scoopables of everything. So, or spoon wax, I'm sorry, of everything. So I will be contacting you with an order. And I will let you know on these little mystery scents. I think they're going to be a big hit. The mystery scent here, I think it's going to be a big hit. Just, just on cold sniff. Like I said, your stuff cured just gets better and better. So I I catch what this scent is totally. It's spot on, and I think it's going to be awesome. So, But I will keep you posted once this is cured and let you know. Unless it's already cured, then please post below and let me know. I'm going to let – I'm going to give everybody the Aunt Smellman's pages, her information, so you guys can place an order. Because you have to. Because she is just, I mean, I'm seriously telling you, you have to. I'm not giving you the option. This is not an optional video. This is, you have to go to Aunt Smellman's and place an order. Because, like I said, it's not an optional video. Because her stuff is just to die for really seriously amazing. Like, I'm not, you know, blowing smoke up anyone's butt or anything like that. She is my number one vendor. I, I just love her. I have many that are close seconds, but she is the number one. So the hardest part, like I said, is going to be letting this stuff cure. Unless these, let me know, Sabrina, these mystery ones, um, let me know if these don't need to cure, because then I will melt them this week and let you know. So, um, but if they do need to cure, let me know that also, so that I'm not melting it and going, oh God, it smells so good and cold, but it's kind of a dud. So let me know either way. Um, I'm going to message you anyway, but I love you. Thank you. My first, I've been roped. Love it. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Thank you, Sabrina. Um, everyone, go to Aunt Smellman's. I'll post all the information below, and have an awesome day.